Thomas and Friends Best Birthday Ever. Best Birthday Ever by Christy Webster illustrated by Tommy Stubbs. It was a very special day on Island of Sorrow. It was Thomas's birthday. Thomas's friends couldn't wait to celebrate. They each had a very special delivery to make for the big birthday party. Percy was coupled with a flatbed so he could pick up the cake. Rebecca was hooked up to two coaches so she could pick up the party guests. Emily was joined with one flatbed and one coach so she could pick up the band and their instruments. But when the station master arrived, he looked very confused. I'm sorry, engines, he said. I've lost my schedule for the day for today. One of you is supposed to go to the docks, one to Napford and one to the castle. But I don't remember who needs to go where. The engines decided to split up and try their best. They wanted Thomas to have the best birthday ever. Percy went to Napford first. Is a cake here? He asked the porters. There's no cake here, said a man. We are the band, he tooted his horn happily. Can you give us a ride to the party, Percy? Percy did not have any coaches, only a flatbed. I can take your instruments, he said. Percy chugged away with the instruments. He wondered if he would have time to pick up the cake. Suddenly, Harold flew by. Harold, can you help? Percy asked. I'm supposed to pick up a cake for Thomas, but I don't know where it is. It must be at the docks or the castle. I'll do my best, Harold said. He wanted Thomas to have the best birthday ever. Meanwhile, Rebecca arrived at the castle, hoping to find the party guest, but she only saw the baker. This cake needs to get to Thomas's party, the baker cried. Percy's late. Rebecca only had coaches. She wasn't sure how to carry the cake. Just then, Harold arrived. I'll take the cake, he said. I think Percy needs help at Napford with the band. Rebecca hurried away. Emily found the party guests waiting at the docks. Get these guests to the party, Cranky said. But I have only one coach, Emily said. I can take half. Half the guests quickly climbed on. The conductor welcomed the passengers, took their tickets and helped them find their seats. The porters carried the luggage. All the engines hurried as fast as they could with their cargo. They wanted Thomas to have the best birthday ever. When the engines arrived at the party, they saw the station master there. What are we missing? He asked. The band is here, said Rebecca. I've got the instruments, peep Percy, and here comes Harold with the cake. I've got some of the guests, added Emily. Oh no, the rest of the guests. Half of them were still at the docks, waiting to be picked up. All three engines raced back to the docks. They wanted to be sure that all of Thomas's guests would make it to the party. Time was running out. But when they arrived at the docks, they only saw balloons, hundreds of balloons. The guests are already on their way, Cranky said. But here, take these presents and as many of these balloons as you can. They are a surprise for Thomas. Hurry! The engines hurried back to the party with their coaches and flatbeds overflowing with balloons. When they arrived, they were the ones to be surprised. There was Thomas with the other guests. I saw these guests waiting at the dock, said Thomas. They needed a special ride. Hooray! Rebecca, Emily and Percy cheered. Happy birthday, Thomas! Thomas loved the balloons. He loved the cake. He loved the band. He loved the whole party. He didn't know that no, the engines had such a mixed up day. Thomas only knew it was the best birthday ever.